because we're thinking about civil war? Well, we have good reason to believe from a sure word of prophecy that civil unrest will rise in the last days. It is interesting that the American Civil War began as catalyzed by an election. Only one third of this country, when they're polled, says that they believe the 2020 election between Trump and Biden was not stolen. It's the exact proportions of the American population during the Revolutionary War. Hey guys, we got another video for you today from I Will Not Be Moved, the new seminar, and this time more indicators of the likelihood of the coming civil war scenario. View the whole seminar, of course, at beltoftruth.tv. Is this interesting that a movie came out in 2024 called Civil War, and they released it on the very day that is the anniversary of the beginning of the US Civil War in 1861. They released this movie on April 12th of 2024. Pretty interesting. I have some shocking polling data points that if I would have heard these 20 years ago, I would have been like, no way, that's, that's never gonna happen. Well, nearly two thirds of our country now expects violence in response to election results. One third believe violence is justified to achieve political ends. One third believe it's justified to use violence to achieve political ends. Close to half of Americans say civil war is imminent. 90% used to say Violence against the government is never justified. Now we have one third say that it is justified. Those who say it's sometimes justified has quadrupled from 10% to 40% or fourfold increase. We haven't seen anything like this in polling data since the history of polls. Since the Civil War, we have not seen an atmosphere like this. Remember the quote earlier about how the powers of the heavens and the powers of the earth are gonna be shaken. And the powers of the earth are the nations of this world and the violence and civil unrest. It was written in the book Early Writings. Well, that's a compilation of when it was, from when it was written, but it was written back around 1848 European revolutions, 1848 to 1851. And I wanna read this from Maranatha because we're thinking about civil war, well, we have good reason to believe from a sure word of prophecy that civil unrest will rise in the last days. It says, all the same time, anarchy is seeking to sweep away all law, not only divine, but human. The centralizing of wealth and power, the vast combination for the enriching of the few at the expense of the many, the combinations of the poorer classes for the defense of their interests and claims, the worldwide dissemination of the same teachings that led to the French Revolution, so uprisings and insurrections, all are tending to involve the whole world in a struggle similar to that which convulsed France. So as I said, what we're seeing in the world now, this was written in the early 20th century, but that sort of development, which is going on today, is going to threaten to bring convulsions like that which convulsed France. So overthrows, revolutions, civil war type of civil unrest. Another statement says the moneyed men, because they have the power, control the market. They purchase at low rates all they can obtain and then sell at greatly increased prices. This means starvation to the poorer classes and will result in a civil war. It says it will result in a civil war. Huh. There, there will be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. And, that time shall, and at that time, Michael shall stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as there never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Ah, yes, God is in the midst of us. Ye shall not be moved. Everyone that shall be found written in the book of life. So civil war is coming. Um, does it mean civil war like secession movements and you know the federal government fighting against a collection of states like it was in the American Civil War? Not necessarily, but it is interesting that the American Civil War began as catalyzed by an election. Election results that the South didn't, the Southern states didn't accept uh, Abraham Lincoln winning the election. So they said, we're out of here. So maybe we see civil unrest and civil war emerging out of elections in America that people don't accept and want to uh, abide by or people retaining power when they should be relinquishing as we read earlier from the scholarly article. Uh, but it might not be secession of states, like we're leaving the union, says one state. Um, the definition of civil war again, Civil, violence and civil unrest that is uh, heightened to the point where it can't be contained by police action. Uh, so, and also, you don't have to necessarily secede, but a state or a county can just nullify, this county can nullify the law of the state. The state can nullify the law of the federal government. And just We're going to go it alone and do our own thing on this matter and this matter, and that could bring to a head the type of conflict that we're discussing. 
Also, you have to have a unified, trusted federal government in order to have a nation. You have to have borders and a nation and a federal government that the people have some degree of confidence in. But the legitimacy of the U.S. federal government is almost gone in the eyes of the people of this land. Think about this. Only one third of this country, when they're polled, says that they believe the 2020 election between Trump and Biden was not stolen. Only one third of the country believes that the Democratic machine, party machines, did not steal that election. One third believe that they did, and one third are uncertain. That's the exact proportions of the American population during the Revolutionary War. One third favored independence from Britain, one third were neutral, one third were against. So this is that level of change type of, type of numbers. Uh, one third believe, only one third believe the election was not stolen. Half believe that the COVID vaccine, half of Americans believe that the COVID vaccine has killed a significant number of people. So when Biden said to the unvaccinated, our patience is wearing thin and you had mandates and then half the country thinks that that killed a significant number of people, you've lost legitimacy at that point. This is a major, major turn that has not happened since the time of the Civil War.